Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Community Calendar. I'm Mallory Sullivan with LoSal TV. Let's get started. Three new programs made their debut on the LoSal TV schedule last week. Perhaps the most popular offering is the replay of the exciting 54-47 win from the Los Alamitos basketball team versus Edison on Tuesday, February 7th. The win left the two teams in a tie for first place in the Sunset League going into the final game on Thursday, February 9th. On the 9th, the Griffins came out on top versus Fountain Valley 92-67 and claimed its fourth consecutive Sunset League title. Also available now is the replay of the latest Los Alamitos school board meeting. The meeting will be aired on Los Al TV Channel 3 throughout the week and on demand at losaltv.com. That makes six new programs over the past two weeks for Los Al TV. The previous new programs were the Los Alamitos High School Signing Day Ceremony, the Los Al Marina Basketball Game on February 3rd, and coverage of the Los Alamitos Museum's Honored Person Ceremony. The Los Alamitos City Hall will be closed this Monday, February 20th for President's Day, which means that the City Council meeting has been moved from this Monday to this Wednesday, February 22nd at 6 p.m. Catch that meeting on Los Al TV Channel 3 and on demand at losaltv.com in the very near future. The Joint Forces Training Base in Los Alamitos has announced its 2017 public base tour on the following dates, February 16th, May 18th, August 17th, and November 16th. The fully guided bus tour includes an introduction and historical overview of the base, highlighting its current state and federal missions. Reservations for the May tour are now being accepted and can be made by sending an email to the JFTV Public Affairs Officer. The Seal Beach Chamber of Commerce is now accepting reservations for exhibit booths and sponsorships for the Be More Healthy Expo held on March 25th. This expo is held at Eisenhower Park with one full block of ocean closed to support this huge event. This year's Be More Healthy Expo is slated to be the best ever with the addition of more exhibitors, free screenings, stage demonstrations, and a fun and fit kids zone. Now let's check in with Megan from the Los Alamitos Recreation Department. The Southland Credit Union Los Alamitos Race on the Base is just around the corner. Join us on February 24th through 25th for the Glow in the Dark Fun Run presented by Southland Credit Union the Honoring Our Fallen 5K Run or Walk to Remember, the 10K Run, Wheelchair or Hand Cycle Race, the Junior Reverse Triathlon, or the nation's largest reverse triathlon. Please visit raceonthebase.com for more information. The Los Amidos Weekend of Art is coming up on Friday, March 17th through Sunday, March 19th. This three-day art exhibition is free to the public and welcomes all ages and skill levels. Applications for visual and performing artists are now being accepted. Please visit cityoflosalamitos.com slash recreation or call 562-430-1073 for more information. Look out for your quarterly spring activities guide in the mail which lists all of our special interest classes and camps for all ages. From dance classes to learning how to use an iPad or iPhone to yoga, sports leagues, day camps, swimming lessons, educational classes, we have something for the entire family. Online registration for residents begins February 18th. The Los Alamitos Community Center offers flexible room scheduling to accommodate your every need. Whether it's a banquet for 175 or a business meeting for 10, we are here to assist you with your reservation needs. We also offer picnic shelter reservations at Little Cottonwood Park. Please call our community center at 562-430-1073 for more information and to see if we have a date available for you. And that's all from the Los Al Recreation Department. Thanks, Megan. After their 13-year hiatus, the Los Alamitos Decathlon team took first place overall in Division III at the Orange County Academic Decathlon. This year's theme was World War II, and the Griffins returned with a bang as the team earned a total of 33 individual medals for placing in the top five in each subject area. This Friday, the Los Alamitos basketball team will take on Gar High School in the Los Al Gym. Los Al TV's student crew will be able to cover the game live, where it will be available to stream on our streaming partner, NFHS Network. The game will begin at 7 p.m. and it's definitely not one to miss. The Los Alamitos Vocal Music Program presents Bells of Freedom on February 23rd through the 25th at the Los Al PAC. Students from each choir will be showcasing their competition sets before beginning the competition season. These amazing choirs are led by David Mullenkamp, who was just named the Los Alamitos Unified School District's Teacher of the Year. Tickets are available now for all four shows online at seatyourself.biz slash Choir. Our restaurant of the week is Twice Baked Baking Company. This family-owned bakery has a mission to satisfy the sweet tooth of everyone who has to be on a gluten-free diet. Twice Bake offers fresh gluten-free breads, cupcakes, 
cheesecakes, bunt cakes, cookies, and many other goodies using high quality ingredients and flavors from around the world. With a daily changing menu, there's always a delicious treat option for everyone. And our business of the week is Republic Services. Republic Services is committed to providing reliable and responsible recycling and waste disposal services to best serve its customers, minimize environmental impact, and make our planet better. This very special business of the week contributes over $6,000 each year to help Low Sal TV defray the cost of televising Los Alamitos high school sports. This generous donation covers almost one third of our actual high school broadcasting costs and supports students like me who are interested in career and video production. Thanks, Republic. And that's it for this edition of Community Calendar. If you have an event to promote, you can email us at rlosaltv at gmail.com or click our Facebook links at losaltv.com. I'm Mallory Sullivan signing off for Losal TV. Thank you for watching.